Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you my February setup. For February, I usually do a rose theme, but this year I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do a Lunar New Year theme. Starting off with the cover page, I wanted to do a theme that showcased some historical buildings that look very similar to Chinese architecture, like the ones that you see in the Imperial Palace. And I took inspiration from some of the period dramas that I've been watching recently. I've actually watched them before and I'm just re-watching casually. And the ones that I'm watching included Zhen Huan Zhuan and Ru Yi Zhuan. And in English, the title of those dramas are Empresses in the Palace and Rui's Royal Love in the Palace, if you want to check them out. I have always loved ancient Chinese architecture, and so I was really happy to be able to build that into my cover page for my Lunar New Year theme. Here you see me blending the sky around the moon forever and it's because I'm trying to get that glow effect but my skills are such that I'm a bit inconsistent in my blending of paints. Sometimes I can achieve that glow effect really well and sometimes it's a bit choppy. <laughs> so this time it's a bit on the choppier side and so I just keep working at it, trying to fix it but in the end I decided to just move on and paint the rest of the scene, otherwise I'm just going to be painting the sky forever. You can see in the background here that I actually did a bit more of a detailed sketch this time, especially for the building. Uh, the rest of the landscape was not as detailed, just a little bit for the shape of the mountains, and I put in a circle for the moon earlier. And the reason why I did a bit more of a detailed sketch for the building, which as you know is a bit unusual for me if you've watched my videos for a while, is because it's a bit more of a complex scene that I'm building, especially for the, the architecture part of it. And so I wanted to make sure that I didn't end up painting a building that was lopsided with uneven windows or anything like that. And so I did more of a sketch to begin with this time. That being said, you can see that it's still not a very detailed sketch and I have to admit that's because I'm pretty impatient with my art. I just, I really admire those who have the patience to do a detailed sketch and really precise paintings but I just don't seem to have that in me. But I'm working on it, I am trying to be more patient, I am trying to paint a bit more precise, and you'll see that in my theme this month where I do more details, drawing more lines with my paintbrush, and trying to make the shapes more even, and going a bit more slowly about it instead of rushing through as much as I usually do, so that my painting does look more precise than usual. So I'm really working on the patience and hopefully you'll see me progress over time both in terms of my painting skills as well as just being more patient with my art overall. roughly adding black blobs of paint so that I am mapping out roughly where I want the buildings to go in the background. I am also working on painting in more layers after the layer beneath dries so that I can get more mixes of colors and also just not having white blanks in the background and so you can see that I after after blocking out the areas that I want to paint in certain things such as buildings I went back and added in another layer of paint so that I can define the details more and also darken up certain areas that I want the paint to be a different shade this is definitely a work in progress in that I don't really know too well how to get the effect that I want, I end up just kind of creating these 
one dimensional blocks of color on top of each other rather than having one color blend into the other and create more of a 3D effect. So I'll still have to figure that out. But for now, this will do and I hope you like it. the video that I really challenged myself this time in that I drew a lot of details with a paintbrush rather than using a pen which may have been what I would have preferred for things like drawing all these lines. It was a bit scary to do this but I am glad that I tried and I think that I'll only improve with time if I just keep keep at it and I did like how it turned out even though some of the lines weren't quite <laughs> straight and perfect. this month was paint the clouds differently where I wanted to paint a base color first and then outline in gold metallic watercolor. achieve a glow effect like the lantern was being lit from the inside and so after painting the base red color I added a bit of yellow and a bit of orange and then I went over it while it was still wet with a bit more of the red paint drawing lines across so that it would look like you can see the texture of the lantern but also see the glow coming from inside the lantern and I quite like how it turned out here. 
rest of the lanterns for the buildings in the distance because they were much smaller i didn't do the mix of the colors that i did for the larger lanterns instead i used the metallic watercolor so that it would automatically have a glow effect when it catches the light using a gold pen and then later I go back in with some gold paint to fill it out.
next I'll be really diving in to the Lunar New Year theme using the common colors of red and gold. So I'm starting off with a red background, after which I'll be painting on top of it some gold clouds as well as a gold dragon. on a paper calendar that I pre-measured out and cut out and you'll see that I accidentally <laughs> pasted it wrong and I'll have to rip it off later <laughs> and it messes up my background a little bit but I did my best to fix it afterwards. I'm making some additional little decorations that I can paste on the paper. This one is fu which means good fortune. some extra red lanterns that I will cut out and paste on. I'm using my acrylograph pen as the base color and then afterwards I'll be adding the additional lines in metallic gold paint. for the window panes for my Dutch door. For this Dutch door, I decided to use vellum paper in order to mimic the paper window screens that you see in some Chinese architecture. 
However, the middle one I decided to swap out and use some holographic sticker on top of a plastic sheet in order to have that extra bit of sparkle for that extra bit of magic. For the dragon, I looked at a lot of different pictures of Chinese dragons before coming up with my own design, quickly sketching it out, and then outlining it in gold metallic paint, creating all the details as I go.
for the background, I'm just doing a little bit more of those gold clouds, really simple swirls for the design. I already did a lot of detail for the dragon, and so I didn't want the background to be too excessive. Because the rest of the setup is so detailed already, I decided to go for a minimalist weekly setup with just some lines dividing each day and then writing in the date and then later outlining the date with a little bit of color for the rectangular box and then beyond that, that was it. And now for a flip through. Thanks so much for watching! Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon!